Hello, this is Steve, and welcome to another episode of Steve's Hobbies. In today's video, episode 2 of the expansion and renovation of my main layout, we will look at the progress made since the first episode. In the first installment, we constructed the expansion table and the backdrop, and I was able to install the track I had and the yard switch. This photo shows the layout as it was at the end of the first episode. In this photo, we see I have started to install some LED lighting in the engine house. Along with that, I installed the LED lights in the yard as well. In this photo, we see the footings that were added to the coal tower to get the proper elevation to clear scale cars. This shows the track prior to the Ys arriving. At this point, the Ys have arrived and the cutting and the necessary track was done. In this photo, we see the completed track laid in the Y configuration. Here we see the old yard before disassembling. We now have the double crossover laid in place to get an idea as to how it will fit. Now comes the disassembling of the old yard and the removal of the excess track. In this photo we see that only two sidings remain. Now the Y is laid in place again so that we can make the necessary cuts to install. This photo shows the track cut away ready for the installation of the double crossover. Here the double crossover has been installed and the necessary cleanup is being made for the wiring and then work can begin on reballasting the layout. In this photo we see I have started adding some detail to the engine house. First the floor is constructed and weathered. This is what the engine shed looks like now with the detailed interior. In this photo we see the water columns that have been placed outside the engine shed. Now at this point we have the weathering of the track. At this point we could start with the ballasting of the track and the scenic details being placed. Here is an overview of the yard looking down from the main layout to the engine shed. Here we see the calling tower and engine shed at the one end of the yard and at the other end the switch tower and the water tower. This is the old yard that exists on the main layout as it appears now fully ballasted and detailed. Again I apologize for the delay in getting this latest update out to you but for those who follow me on Instagram you saw the progress daily. Most of the time was dedicated to getting the layout operational for an annual run session. With all of that said, I will end with some trains running on the layout. When my friends post their videos of the weekend run session, I will post the link to their videos. Until the next time, I thank you for your support, and if you have enjoyed this episode, like and subscribe, and tell your friends about my channel. This is Steve, and thanks once again.